All right. Okay, we are going to solve, we're going to continue solving equations, but this time we may have uh, variables or numbers on both sides that we have to attend to. In the past, we were just moving numbers away from the variable. Now we have to get our variables on one side and we have to get our numbers on another side. Now, I don't want to work these, but I do want to set them up so we can work them and I want you to follow the rules. When we're solving a linear equation, the first thing to do is what? Distribute, and we've got some distribution to do here, so let me distribute. Okay, we have four times four x is 16x plus 12 equal 2x minus 8 plus 7. Now, I still can't, can't uh, solve this yet because even though this looks pretty good on this side, I have a couple of numbers over here that need to be combined. So let me rewrite it again with everything combined so I can begin to work the problem. So the 16x plus 12 will, will remain the same. The 2x will be the same, but I need to combine my negative 8 and my positive 7. And a negative 8 and a positive 7 is a negative 1. And we'll start working some equations like that, but I just wanted to remind you that as we begin working them, we're going to follow the steps that I have on the board to make sure that we take care of everything in its proper order. On this one, it looks to me like we have to distribute on both sides, so let's distribute. 3 times x is 3x. 3 times a negative 8 is a negative 24. And on the right-hand side, 2 times x is 2x. And 2 times a positive 4 is a positive 8. Now what's different about this is, now that we have distributed, I don't see anything to combine like terms on because we're going to keep these as two separate sides. There's nothing to combine over here. You've got your x and your number, and you have your x and your number over here. So as we move into our next set of equations, we're going to be setting it up just like this, and then we're going to have to move our x's to one side and then move our numbers to the other. But the process is the same, just like what we've been doing. We just have an extra step here. All right, so this is how we're going to set them up, and then we're going to solve. Okay, here comes your first one. Okay, very first one is going to be 3 times x plus 2 equal 3 times 2 plus x. All right, let's distribute first, and then we'll start moving x's, the variable, and then move the numbers. 3 times x is 3x. 3 times a positive 2 is a plus 6. On the other side, 3 times 2 is 6, and 3 times a positive 1x is a plus 3x. Now this looks interesting. I gave this to you on purpose at the beginning because it's one of the easiest ones to do. I, I am getting ready to move my x's, but look at this. It doesn't matter which way I move. If I move this 3x over here, take away 3x, that clears. Take away 3 well that clears. No matter which way I go, the x's are going to clear out. And that's okay because the equations on either side are identical. They're not in the same order, but they're identical. So no, no matter which way I move the x's, those x's are clearing out. Not to zero, just clear, gone, finished, nothing left. And then I go, well, wait a minute. Those sixes, no matter which way I go, the sixes clear out too. That's a good thing because if the left side and the right side are identical, like identical twins, whatever will work for one side will work for the other. So when everything is clear, I say to you, all clear, and you will say to me, all real numbers, okay? That's like saying x is equal to x. If x is equal to 5, then it's equal to 5 over here. That means that any real number that you choose to sub in for these x's will work. So when all variables and all numbers clear out because they're identical, the answer is all clear, all real numbers. So that would be the answer for this problem right here, okay? Okay, so the first type that I showed you, all real numbers, because everything cleared out, all right? Okay, let's go to another one. 
Okay, this time I'm going to go 4 times x minus 2 equal 4 times 4 plus x. Make that look like a 4. Okay, <clears throat> now here we go. 4 times x is 4x. 4 times negative 2, negative 8. And then over here, I have 4 times 4 is 16. And 4 times the 1x is plus 4x. Now, let's begin with our x's. No matter what I do, it's just like the last one, no matter what I do, if I move this 4x over here, that will clear. And I put the negative 4x, that will clear. If I put a negative 4x, it doesn't matter which, what I do, it's going to clear out. So since they are on opposite sides and they are identical, the x's are going to clear out. Now, this is kind of like the, coach of the coaches of two teams walking off and leaving. You can't solve for x if you don't have x. And all we have now is a negative 8 equals 16. Coaches went walking off. There are no x's. And these do not clear out. And a negative 8 does not equal 16. So on this one, there is no possible solution to this. So I'm going to go no solution. All right. So our second type is no solution. If the x's clear out, that's why I always look at x's first. If the x's clear out, leaving you with two numbers that do not equal, and they do not clear out, then we're going to have to call that no solution. There is no number in our number system that I can put here to make the left side and the right side equal. There is no solution for this equation. All right? Okay, let's try the third kind. Let's say we have 5, and I'm going to go x minus 2 equal 6x plus 3. All right. Now, it says to distribute. Combine like terms if you can on the left and the right, and then begin to isolate the variable. Here we go. We have 5x minus 10 equal 6x plus 18. Okay, now I think we can do something with this. We have a 5x and a 6x, and I need to get them together because they're on opposite sides. Now, I could do, and I think I will, it doesn't really matter if you take the 6x and move it over here, or if you take the 5x and move it over there. Just remember to add the opposite. <clears throat> I usually try to move it in a way that will keep the, the x positive, but we don't have to. I'm going to add the opposite to move this x to the right-hand side. I'm going to add a negative 5x, which will clear it. And over here, I'm going to add a 5x. Oh, excuse me, a negative 5x. All right, I now have, I'm going to rewrite the problem for you. I have a negative 10 equal 6x, and a negative 5x is just x plus 18. Now, we're back to one of our little baby equations. It's time to move the number away from the variable. And so I'm going to tell that 18 to move to the other side. And I'll do that by adding the opposite, negative 18, over here, negative 18. I now have x is equal to negative, and more negative makes a whole bunch of negative. x is equal to a negative 28. So in this instance, we did have one answer and only one answer. The only number that will work for these equations, or for this entire equation, is negative 28. Okay. All right, now let's look at another type. Okay, this time I'm going to go ahead and distribute it for you. I'm going to go 15x minus 4 equal 12x minus 4. All right, pretend like I've already distributed, or maybe I didn't need distribution after all. <laughs> it's time to get the x's together. Now, I can move this with a negative 15 on both sides, but that will create a negative x. So I think I'd like to move the 12 to the left-hand side, the 12x. So I'm going to take away 12x to clear, and I'm going to take away 12x right there. Now let me rewrite the problem for you. 15 take away 12x is going to be 3x 
minus 4 equal negative 4. Okay? Now you know what we have to do. We've got to isolate the x. So I'm going to have to move that negative 4 by adding 4 on both sides. So I'm going to add a 4, which clears, and I'm going to add a 4. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. We have three people who are getting a negative 4 and a positive 4 equals 0. Hmm. Well, if three people are waiting in line for food and three people are getting nothing, then what do you suppose one person will be getting? That's right. X is equal to 0. It looks to me like we have a bunch of people. The numbers, through no fault of, of our own, cleared out. So we've got people who want something, but there's nothing there. So lots of people get nothing. One person gets nothing. So our fourth choice was an answer of zero. Okay? Uh, in the next video, I'm going to kind of mix these up for you, and we're going to see if it turns out which one it turns out to be. Remember, all real numbers is when you've distributed and combined your like terms, and everything clears out. The variables and the numbers on opposite sides clear out. All real numbers. Anything, any real number will fit in there to solve the equation. And then the second one we did was we lost to x's. They cleared out, leaving us with numbers that don't even equal. Like the coach walked off, leaving an uneven team right there. They can't play without the coach. You can't solve if you, don't have, if you don't have a variable. No solution. And then on the third one, we actually moved the x's in one direction. We moved the numbers in the other direction. And we were able to solve with a real answer, one real number answer. And then on the last one that I showed you, we ended up having a bunch of X is left over, but the number's cleared out. And so if we have nothing to share with anyone, then it doesn't matter if you have 4 or 40 or 2. The answer is 0.